To install Texture Loader without MegaHack v6.2, go to the first link in the description and download the two DLLs linked. Next, go to the second link in the description and download Texture Loader from my GitHub repo. Make sure to keep the folder that contains these three files open and navigate to the, your Geometry Dash Local Files folder. If you do not know how to do this, go to Steam, Local Library, right click on Geometry Dash, click on Properties, click on Local Files, and click on Browse. Once you are in the Geometry Dash Local Files folder, drag gddlloader.dll and libcurl.dll into the folder. Now, create a new subdirectory with the name addf-dll and drag texture loader into this new subdirectory. Now, you can open GD and start using texture loader. To install texture loader with MegaHack v6, please make sure that you are first on the MegaHack beta v6.2. If you are not on the beta, you can go to the third link in the description in order to download it. After you have downloaded the beta, you can navigate to the second link in the description to download Texture Loader from my GitHub repo. Make sure to keep the folder containing Texture Loader open and navigate to your Geometry Dash Local Files folder. If you do not know how to do this, go to Steam, Local Library, right click on Geometry Dash, click on Properties, click on Local Files, and click on Browse. Now, drag Texture Loader into the Geometry Dash Local Files directory. Find the file named Absolute DLLs and open it in a text editor, such as Notepad. Create a new line with the caption TextureLoader.dll, save the file, and open Geometry Dash. Now you can enjoy Texture Loader. When first opening Geometry Dash with Texture Loader installed, you should see a new packs folder created under the Geometry Dash Local Files folder. In order to add packs to this folder, you can use the folder button at the top right of the texture loader GUI. Press the refresh button in the bottom right of the texture loader GUI in order to load any new packs. Now you can apply any number of packs by moving them to the applied list. If you would like to change the priority of a pack, you can use the swap up and down buttons in order to change its order in the list. If the pack combination may not display correctly, or you are using a quality that is not supported by the packs you have applied, Texture Loader will give you a warning. These are optional checks that can be toggled off in the Texture Loader options menu.